Cloud engineers are one of the highly sought IT professionals in this century and why not this year? A lot of people are interested in knowing who a cloud engineer is or how to become a cloud engineer. Hi, welcome to DevOps with Mike and Mike and today's video is who is a cloud engineer and how you can become a cloud engineer. If this is your first time coming across our content, hit the subscribe button right now and if you are a retaining subscriber, why not go on to hit the notification bell right now because more videos are coming for you to clear your journey as a DevOps engineer or as a cloud engineer. Who is a cloud engineer? What do cloud engineers do or what are the various job opportunities for a cloud engineer and how can one become a cloud engineer? Those are the three questions which I'll answer in this video and if you can stay to the end of this video, you'll get yourself ready to start your journey as a cloud engineer and mind you when we talk of cloud engineer you can have yourself fit into the amazon web service cloud stack or the microsoft azure cloud stack or the google cloud stack or you might even want to learn the ibm cloud stack cloud engineers are experts that are in charge of managing infrastructure for companies for organizations or for individuals over the internet so you can synonymously say the cloud is the internet those experts that make sure client information is accessible or customer information information or organizations information banking information and all the information you can think of is available to their clients is what the cloud engineers do there are several roles which cloud engineers occupy but along those various roles cloud engineers are in charge of the designing the maintenance the scaling and the up to the running of most applications which we have over the internet all your banking applications you see all the finance applications the healthcare applications the insurance applications most applications which you see are managed by cloud engineers there is a variety of cloud engineer roles which you can occupy you can have a cloud solutions architect cloud engineer a cloud security engineer you can have a cloud developer so that's there are a whole lot of different cloud engineer roles which you can fit into you can become AWS Cloud Engineer or Microsoft Cloud Engineer or Google Cloud Engineer because those are the three cloud engineers that are so much in demand in the industry and some people are wondering what is the pay you want to know how much a cloud engineer earns right so averagely cloud engineers earn over for those in the US or in Canada or in Europe average earnings of cloud engineer is between $80,000 annually to $150,000 annually. So if you want to go into cloud engineering field because of the money, that is what you should be expecting along that bracket, $80,000 US dollars annually to $150,000 US dollars annually. So you might get, depending on your role, you might have more or you can have less. Now, how to become a cloud engineer? Number one, you need to get the education. Some are already having a bachelor's degree in any related field, be it computer science, be it IT, be it information technology, whatever the case might be, you must have the right education. If you're having your bachelor's degree in any other or works of life or any other area, that doesn't stop you from becoming a cloud engineer. But all you need is to have a discipline to go through a degree program that can help you of course those who have degree programs in engineering related fields who have a higher advantage starting their cloud journey getting your education is the first thing to becoming a cloud engineer the second thing which you must consider is gaining the right skills if you select maybe amazon web service in one of our past videos we gave you the very easy steps of how to become a cloud engineer in a few minutes on amazon web service so you want to watch that video to know more about amazon web service but basically for you to become a successful cloud engineer you need to learn the skills along the particular cloud which you want to dive into so let's take amazon web service for example if you want to get started with amazon web service you want to learn user management compute services storage services you want to learn database services you want to learn governance in the cloud you want to learn security of the cloud you want to learn configuration management you want to learn automation so you need to get the right skills in operating a particular cloud technology along getting your education right you should get yourself the necessary skill sets of a particular cloud stack. The third thing which you must do if you want to become a successful cloud engineer is for you to get to online courses. There are a lot of online courses that are designed to help 
starters to be successful in their cloud journey. You can go to Udemy. There are a lot of courses on cloud engineering. There are a lot of courses on Coursera. There are a lot of courses. Even Amazon itself has free courses which you can use to get yourself started. So why not visit some of those sites to see some of the cloud engineering courses? Of course, I'll leave some of the courses in the description and you get the link to some of the courses which you can use to get yourself started with the cloud computing journey. Now, after you visited some of those online courses, some good courses have projects with them and it is imperative for you to have a project repository. After you've gone through some of these online courses or after you've got the necessary skills to become a cloud engineer, do well to build a professional repository online or a professional project portfolio. Most engineering experts use GitHub. So you use your GitHub account or you create an account on GitHub and you upload several projects which you have worked on along your journey or along your training. Perhaps you work on auto scaling or you work on load balancing or you work on security, whatever the case may be, make sure you have a project repository that outlines some of the projects you've been able to work on along your training. So that gives recruiters the mindset that this guy doesn't just have the mastery of these technologies, but can use these technologies to solve problems, which is definitely what companies are out for looking for the experts who know the skills who have the right education who have gone through all the courses and can use all these resources to solve their problems the fifth thing which you can do to become a successful cloud engineer this year is for you to go on having a good mentor. A good mentor is necessary because most mentors in the industry can help you get yourself ready for entry level roles. Remember in our past video, I was explaining that you can use demo interview sessions to upskill yourself for your first role. So a good mentor can equally help you to have your free demo sessions with them. Just leave in the comment if you're interested in getting a demo interview session and and I'll go on to reply and see how we can set up a time for me to give a demonstration with you. But basically, for you to be successful in the cloud engineering journey, have a good mentor that will help you from time to time to keep you in check as to the technologies which you've learned or as to the skills which you have learned. After you've got yourself a good mentor, the next thing which you have to do to become successful, connect with others in the industry. It is important and that is where LinkedIn comes in. LinkedIn is a professional platform which you can use to connect with others in the industry. You can equally use LinkedIn to search for jobs. So once you've got the right mentor, once you've set up your project repository, once you've equally set up your account on some of the judge search platforms, you want to go into a professional networking uh, site like LinkedIn and get yourself connectors and get yourself friends. Of course, once you get on LinkedIn, you are looking for friends that are in the same cloud computing niche as you are. Go on to look for those who are in the same career path as you are, which is the cloud computing career path. And the last thing for you to do to become a successful cloud engineer this year, apply for entry level roles. After you've done all this amazing stuff why not give a shot in applying for entry level roles entry level roles will be the perfect test as to if you've been able to assess all the steps which you've listed above you were to apply for entry level roles there are many job search platforms around you just hit your google tab and search cloud engineer roles around me or cloud engineer job around me and you'll be stunned by the number of jobs which you have i hope this video was able to guide you through how you can become a cloud engineer this year so thank you for watching this video to the end if you've not yet subscribed hit the subscribe button because our next video is going to get you further involved in the cloud industry and hit the notification bell right now because more videos are coming to help you thank you